Gentlemen, welcome back to Farm Fabric Cobbling 101. I don't have a disc harrow or uh, one of them fancy things, what for the thing, making your wife's beautiful mounds for sticking vegetables in, you dirty minds. Mild steel, because them hardwood dowels don't weld for shit. As it happens, it's Arts and Crafts Friday, also known as Fuck Around Friday. Never fails, but some clipboard warrior in the office sales department mispurchases some steel. Well, what the hell are you going to do with this? That's just like prescription drugs. you got to rotate your inventory. It goes bad. So, you're welcome. We're doing somebody a favor by disappearing this. Son of a... Inch shy of getting the job done. You know how your wife feels. Same, same. Flip her around. Take it from the backside. Look at this. I was gonna test fit it, but no need. Five feet. What are the odds? I've seen your browser history. On the subject of drilling, I got a couple old bull tricks for you. Of course, with the pilot drill, you give her a full chooch. As fast as she'll suffer. Not as torquey as she'll suffer, mind. As fast as she'll, and this, this drill ain't no joke. It, it will twist you up like a pretzel. The girthier the bit, the more torque you want. You're gonna change gears, but we'll just change this into two. It's a lot slower and a lot torquier too. We're almost to the end of the hole. There's not much meat left in there. This is when the drill really wants to bind up. If you got to drill lots of holes throughout your whole life, you don't want you don't want to be doing the old egg beater routine on the end of a whole hog. Okay, now we're through. You can see it's getting real sharp there. What you do is you change back to high speed. High speed, low torque. And you just finger the throttle nice and easy. And that way there's not enough torque on the drill to spin you right round. I'm doing this with the one hand mine because I'm cupping your head in my other hand. Here. Now that's pretty, you see that getting hung up. But what I wanted to show you, I'll have to do it with two hands, so I'll have to put you down. At the end of the hole, if you just ease up on the torque, ease up on the throttle, ease up on the feed pressure, then you never got to worry about shattering your drill bit. I hear a question from the stoners at the back of the class. Why not just leave it in high gear all the time? Because the drill bit will overheat. You'll lose your cutting edge because you're cutting too fast. What you're looking for is good feed pressure and a nice chip, just like that. When you're getting tiny little slivers, you're not getting the most out of your cutting edge. It'll do it, but it might only do one hole. I'm just gonna come along these together. Till we get the right spacing. See a teabag? A little bit tighter on one than the other. That's why God made miner's wrenches. Uncle Donnie reverse action. <laughs> Click. Bear with me. We got a roller and flower. Find the wet spot. Jam that tractor in. I think somewhere conveniently located by my beautiful display of Festool sustainers. Drive by Braille. Go until you hear the crunch. I know it shouldn't come down, but now we're sure it won't come down. I'm a hippie to what's going on prior to farm welding roulette. That is, are we going to run out of wire, gas, or is the power going to go out first? Who can say? This guy, huh, is going to be a bit of a snowplow effect. 
because the dirt will start piling up as it squeezes. And then it occurs to me if I ever took this off, she'd sproing and I'd never get back on. So I'm going to run a strut, just a little wee one from there to there. Well, maybe, maybe a little beefier, a little bit beefier from there to there. And then we'll have a nice chunk of flat bar on top there. Just smooth it right out. Oh, well, I was completely wrong. Today, it's the <laughs> drive roll slipping. Yay! Something new. For the sake of the professionals in the crowd, welders, mine, not the other kind, save you the sympathetic embarrassment of watching me weld. Suffice it to say, I come from the school of bigger the gab, the better the job. We'll back off this car. Wheelwright's helper. Uh, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. You ain't gonna fool me again. We're gonna test this out prior to making it all Kubo to pink. It's tough getting that paint off after you. So we'll just make sure it works. This is the point in my afternoon when I tell you what a rousing success this has been. However, I realize that I'm a little bit too invested. <laughs> she ain't tea bag, but not going to make the cover of Better Homes and Gardens with Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. I just came out to tell you that it's correcto time. Oh, now you're speaking my language. Cafe correcto. Very nice. Well, thank you. The secret to a well-groomed plot is rototilling. As you heard, baby doll, it works a lot better if you give her a little floor play beforehand. Fluff, a fluffer. He fluffed it up with the rototiller, and yeah, works like a hot dam. You get that nasty old vole. Get it. I hate picking rocks the most. <laughs> Everybody hates picking rocks the most. It's my job to torture you as much as as legal. legal I don't want the world to chew you up and spit you out. Pick those rocks. Suffer. It's not even sunny out. You're a bad father. Sometimes I do love you, but sometimes I don't. Today I don't love you. I ain't here to be your friend. Neither am I. <laughs> Suffer. That well, works a tree to put a little scare fire in there. And I'm going to put a little stabulator inboard on that. If I had some disc arrows, I'd also extra mold board, bull board. Just about time for the family barbecue. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to this one. Neighbor says to me, he says, I sure love Oma's ass pick. I says, pardon? The tomato ass pick your Oma makes. It's delicious. Mm. Hey, your wife. I heard she had somebody over the other day to plow her plot. I says, pardon? Yeah, he says, I drove past and she was getting pretty heated. You need to plow a little deeper, John Deere. Snap show, lose it. Flurry to the solar plexus, hook to the lever. He's going down, down, uppercut, speed bag in the air. Uppercut, speed bag, uppercut, speed bag. I look around for the white towel, speed bag. There was teeth and lips everywhere. Words. How's that for Oma's pickass? Ever since I've been a champ. 